Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I am Dr. Sachin Sajdev, uh, alumni of KGMU. I'm very, very honored today uh, that I got an invitation to speak at the Georgian Alfest. Thank you, Dean Sir, Dr. Arjun Chandra. Thank you, my dear friend, uh, Dr. Soman Vikram Singh, Professor in the Department of Postodontics. Um, this is an honor, and I'm very, very, very happy to talk back to uh, the new generation uh, at KGMU. The topic of today's uh, talk will be digital workflow in a modern orthodontic practice. So I have passed uh, BDS from KGMU, KGMU uh, in 2002. We are 97 batch. I did my MDS in orthodontics uh, at USMFA in Kishno. This is Republic of Moldova. I did my postdoctoral studies, researching on uh, bonding on fluoride teeth, also at USMFA in Kishinev. And since 2014, I have been practicing in my private practice till today. So we will start to talk about uh, what we have been doing here in the last six, seven years, uh, developing a modern workflow in an orthodontic practice. Okay, so what is orthodontics in a practice? It is a field in dentistry which needs years of study and practice. Like all the other fields, like oral surgery and orthodontics, orthodontics, uh, we need a lot of years to understand the the the, the, uh, the field in which you are practicing. The only thing which I feel uh, it differs a little to other branches as it has a long duration of treatment compared to surgery or endodontics or prosthodontics. The actual treatment goes on for a longer time in the field of orthodontics. Um, and the orthodontist has to monitor the patient from a very young age to adulthood or maybe adults even after a long time once we have finished the treatment. So that makes our job uh, or our relation with the patient a little longer than compared to other fields of dentistry. Well, of course, like other fields, it also includes uh, diagnosis, treatment planning, the actual treatment, modification to the treatment, and then retention and control. So uh, this is what we do every day in our practice, uh, which I feel uh, we should understand go uh, very good uh, how we get into the uh, the, uh, the practice once you leave college. So today I've been talking about difference between, difference between the traditional orthodontics versus the modern or contemporary digital orthodontics. So as you can see, uh, before we were taking impressions, it was a little messy to get the impressions done. Uh, not very easy all the time, but uh, with time I have seen that we have gone on to scanning. So it is the same as taking impressions, but it's not as messy. It's not easier. Uh, so any orthodontic practice, which is um, uh, having a digital workflow is supposed to, be to have uh, an internal scanner because that helps a lot with the first contact with the patient when you meet them. And we try to get uh, the start of the relationship between the orthodontist and the doctor and the patient to be not so messy as, as, as it was before. Another difference which I see between uh, um, a clinic which is having digital workflow is that the analysis of all the patients is not anymore on the model itself, not as physical, it's not analogic, it's more of digital. So before, I remember in my, in my college days, and even after my uh, master, uh, doing my masters, we used to take impressions, we used to measure every tooth separately, writing down everything, and that used to take a lot of time, and then we had to keep all the models together, which was very, very time consuming, and I would say uh, was not very practical, not very economic. So as of today, we can do everything what we were doing before 10 years or 15 years before on a scan. So the scan can actually tell us 
exactly the tooth sizes. It can tell us what exactly is the degree of the tooth uh, is on the arch. We can see the arch width, which is everything is calculated digitally, which I think is even more uh, precise compared when it is done with um, when, it, when it's kind of done manually. So it makes a, the job a lot easier for the orthodontist, for the technician, and for the patient as well, and makes it a lot less messy, as I said before. The other difference which I see in, um, in, in, a, in a modern practice would be the radiological examination has changed a lot. So this is an X-ray which I was looking at, let's say 15 years ago. Uh, it was on a, on a film. We could hardly see anything without a white light, uh, white light, white light behind the X-ray. Right now, uh, the X-ray examination has changed a lot compared to what we were seeing before. We were not using 3D CBCT. So in this case, as you can see, uh, we can hardly see the structures completely. We can get an idea, a rough idea about the patient uh, examination, but not complete. As of today, we use in our practice a uh, 3D CBCT machine. We can capture the entire head if needed. We can do cephalometric examination also digitally, which is a lot faster. The dosage of the X-ray is very, very, very low, which allows us to do many examinations in a day if needed. We can do CBCT and panoramic X-ray as well as the cephalometric uh, examination all together in the same day. And if needed, we can also repeat that. So I think this has changed a lot because with the advent of 3D CBCT in orthodontics, we can actually see the density of the bone. We can see uh, the roots, if they are dilacerated, if they are encolosed with the bone. Uh, and we can see a lot of structures which were not seen before. So I think this is uh, mandatory in the practice which is going digital as of today. So you can see here, we can actually appreciate the position of the teeth in a 3D, which on a 2D is not very easy. And we can actually see the contacts which we have with the tooth, with the neighboring teeth on the bone, and we can see the sinus. We can actually predict the real movement which we need to, to work on the tooth. So I think in my practice in the last seven years when we are using uh, CBCT in our uh, clinic, it has changed a lot, the biomechanics and the way we plan our treatment for the patients. So this is a must for every orthodontic practice which is going on to do uh, new and modern orthodontics. Okay, so this is something this is actually from uh, from our uh, university in uh, Moldova. So in this photo, you can actually see the Weaver documentation was a lot of models. So if you have uh, in the entire department more than 500 uh, patients, for every patient we used to have blocks. You need a lot of storage room. We had a big room only for the models. And then we used to look for the models. It was a long time consuming process. And sometimes the models might break and then you don't have the initial records. So this was very, very, very tiring at that time, I remember. And then you need to uh, uh, get the models done uh, completely. They have to be uh, beautifully looking and uh, done so that you can actually show it on the examination or do our tooth patient as well. As of today, we do scanning of the models or internal scanning. So this is actually our patient, what we do in our clinic. Uh, the patient is scanned intraorally upper and lower arch with the, with the bite, with the occlusion. And we can just store it on a, on, a, on a folder on the computer, which is accessible everywhere, online, even through your telephone. So that has changed a lot for our practice. Uh, we don't need a room separately now for models. So we just have a folder where we can access it all the time. Uh, the scanning has changed a lot, the way we can see the models. And there are no chances of breakage or uh, uh, we can actually evaluate the the, uh, the occlusion, as you can see here. We can actually evaluate our occlusion a lot better than what we're doing on the model. Um, for, for the orthodontist, you can actually see 
what kind of contacts we have in the beginning and then we can actually compare in the last what change we have done to the occlusion not just the alignment of the teeth so this is also a must uh, which we must have as of today we need to have scanning in our practice besides the x-ray uh, which will change a lot the way you practice uh, modern orthodontics this, the next thing which I feel what we have changed is the photo and video patient records. So we have a studio. In the studio, we do video uh, recording of the patient when she or he talks with us. So we can actually see the facial changes and the, the, the real smile when she talks to us or when he talks to us. Uh, and there is a uh, photographer and uh, person who can actually record professional videos so you can see what the patient's smile was in the beginning and what profile he had in the beginning. So this is what we get after we, we do the uh, uh, professional patient photographs. We do a intraoral as well as extraoral patient photographs which you can actually see later on the changes which have happened in the mouth. Okay, the next thing which I believe has changed a lot in our practice is the digital treatment planning. Why is that important? Because when, we, when, when I was doing my master's in the university, I was doing everything uh, on the model. Everything was analog. And uh, since when we have got digital, it, we, give, we get a more detailed diagnosis of the patient. We can also do digital treatment planning with many benefits compared to the visual or analog way of doing it. We can have treatment outcome simulator. We use it every day in our clinic because uh, when you simulate the outcome to the patient and to yourself, you can actually get the idea where we need to be at the last, at the finish of the treatment. And the patient is more motivated to start treatment with you as well as he's more cooperative during the treatment. If you are showing him the simulation, what the, teeth, what the teeth are going to look like at the end of treatment. And then the patient's expectation is also uh, very clear what he should be expecting out of us as an orthodontist and what changes are feasible and good in relation to his face, uh, which before we you can just explain through words, but now it's actually possible to do simulations which uh, help us to convince the patient more and uh, his expectations are very, very real than what if you just explain verbally. So this is a case where uh, I'll be showing you a case where we did uh, simulation. In the simulation, you can see. Uh, okay, so I'll just go back. So in the simulation, if you can see, we simulated the teeth movements. Patient can actually see the final moments, what it will be, what he's supposed to expect from us. So this is a routine procedure right now in our practice. All the patients who come to us are scanned. We give them a simulation so that they can actually understand uh, what they should be expecting from us. Okay, so right now I will talk with you about the workflow and the modern orthodontic practice, what we, what we actually do in our practice, what you can aspire to do in your practice in the future. So you will get an idea that this is the way things should be done in a, in a modern orthodontic practice. Uh, so this is actually my clinic and my, my uh, receptionist, Irina, seeing the patient. Uh, so the patient is received at reception. He's, uh, after receiving the patient, is given information about the, uh, what even options we have. And then the patient comes to us. Before the patient comes to us, we have a pre-consultation preparation, which is done specifically by our treatment coordinator called TC. So the treatment coordinator actually uh, guides the patient before meeting the orthodontist. What helps? What what that helps is that the patient has got almost thirty to forty percent of information. As he is new to the orthodontic practice, he really doesn't know uh, what he should be expecting. So that helps. The treatment coordinator helps him to get accustomed to the clinic, to how we actually work. So the first thing the, the treatment coordinator does is takes the patient to the x-ray room. The patient is then 
uh, has to do uh, paranoid x-ray and symptomatic x-ray as well. So when the patient is coming to us, he already has the x-ray records required for an eval uh, evaluation of uh, orthodontic anomaly. So this is what the first thing we do. Everything is digital as, as we sh showed you. The next is we get photo and video patient records. You had already seen, I've already shown you how it is done. Uh, it is done as well professionally. So we can get everything to see the changes, what they will be in the future. So this is something which is done after the x-ray, the patient is sent to the studio in which the photo and video re uh, patient records are done. After which the patient goes to the scanning room. Our colleague uh, does the scanning, upper and lower scans with the bite. So when the patient comes to us, the orthodontist already has uh, a scan, dental scan. We can actually see the teeth in the mouth on the screen. We have uh, extra records and we have uh, extra oral and extra oral patient records. So it makes our job a lot easier when we talk to the patient and we'll actually show on the screen what uh, changes uh, do we expect to bring onto your face or your onto your teeth. The next thing is consultation. So when we start to consult the patient, we can discuss what exactly we have seen on the records. We get uh, approximate changes what we have, uh, what what we plan on your on your teeth. We can make a printout and show it to them. This tooth is going to move like six degrees, ten degrees, fifteen degrees. How much of uh, interproximal reduction may be if we are expecting? Why do we need an extraction if needed? So everything is explained on the first day with all the records done and the patient is more convinced uh, to start the treatment with us. After the consultation, the next thing which goes on is the digital lab workflow. I will just show you how it is done in our practice. So we have a digital orthotic lab which is inside the clinic. We have five technicians working with us uh, where we do indirect bonding as you have seen. We do, um, we do um, alignment on the model uh, with, with, a, with a special uh, program. We do, so after we, after we have planned the movements and everything, if this is an aligner patient, because uh, aligners are picking up very good, uh, especially in Europe and US, I believe in India also, uh, the technician prints the 3D models, once they have been planned. Uh, the planning is done by the technician and it is uh, supervised by me to check everything is as we have talked with the patient. Once the 3D printing is done, the 3D printing models are vacuum, uh, are vacuum formed. Once the vacuum forming is done, then they are marked exactly what, or what uh, changes have to be done to the tray, to the aligner, and then the trimming is done by another technician. So we have steps what we follow in the lab. Uh, if we are talking about a liner protocol, a liner fabrication. The next thing is uh, what we are doing more right now is uh, actually digital indirect bonding as well. Uh, because after the simulation, to get the results exactly as is mentioned, what we have done, uh, we have also planned to do the uh, bonding indirectly, digitally, which, which actually saves a lot of time because my technician can, uh, can plan everything. I can just come and check on the screen and the final uh, bonding procedure is done by the system with indirect bonding trays. So this has saved a lot of chair time and has actually given us more precision to the placement of the brackets as well as control over the movement of the teeth. So we are almost now 80 to 85 percent in diet bonding. Only in some patients, I like to bond directly, in which I want to see the tooth in relation to the face. But the rest of them is done all indirectly, and uh, it gives us a lot of uh, preciseness in in our practicing uh, with the with the fixed orthodontic appliances. Uh, we also do digital uh, direct analog bonding. Why am I showing you this? Because sometimes we need to assess the, uh, 
the tooth in relation to every every tooth on the arch. And we, I bought some machines uh, from a friend. Uh, he's a great orthodontic technician, Peter Sheffield. Uh, so we actually do studies on models, also digitally, and then we make records, digital records of all the all the models if needed. Uh, this is something which we don't do very often, but I'm just showing you what can be done in the lab besides uh, besides what we what we do digitally. Everything is done. Um, so this is a machine which actually can measure the torque and the angulation of the tooth, and it can also help us in the indirect fixation if needed, especially for lingual 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 treatment. This is an excellent machine which we use in our lab. The next thing what we do in our lab is 3D printing of uh, orthodontic appliances, metal centered appliances. So the traditional method was, you know, we use uh, separators, separate make space between teeth and then you put the bands, uh, which is not very comfortable for the patient and not even for the doctor. The next thing which we do right now is we get uh, the bands, they are, they are uh, planned on exocard and then they are printed, metal centered. They can be cobalt or titanium. We have possibility of doing that uh, metal printing in, in our clinic. So the technician designs the bands. The bands can be semi-bands or complete bands. The best part about these is that we don't need separators because we don't actually enter inside the interposable areas, which makes the job a lot easier for the technician, for the doctor, and for the assistant as well. So this is something I think we should all be going for. We should be going for 3D printed uh, metal appliances in the orthodontics. So this is how it looks like on the model. So you see it's already now after the planning it has come onto the model. The models are also 3D printed and you can make any shape or whatever you need on the on the uh, planning software. So you can see we have made also a transplantal arch with mini implants. We have uh, special screws for mini implants. All these can be actually done in a, in a practice if you are doing a lot of work digitally. This is all in the lab work, which is always supervised by the orthodontic. So after we have done all the lab work, we go to appliance delivery. So the appliance delivery is done by the assistant, supervised by the orthodontist. In case of indirect bonding of uh, braces, this is after the after the bonding has been done, we deliver the appliance. Or in case we are doing aligners, then the aligners are are delivered to the patient and they are given instructions of uh, what have to, what else what has to be done with the uh, with the appliance uh, day to day. What else we do in our practice is we have a list, we have digital records of each patient online. So whenever the patient comes into the to the to the chair, uh, the orthodontist can actually access his diagnosis, the treatment planning, the uh, what what was what was talked on the first day. We have notations, we have extra records. Everything is on the chair, which is also very helpful. I remember carrying a lot of uh, folders before and going through them every time when we were. Uh, I was doing my my masters. Right now, we have made a special program for orthodontic practice. Everything what we have taught every time is there online. So I would actually recommend all the orthodontists, if possible, to have uh, digital records of the patient, which you can access anytime in, uh, on the chair itself when you are uh, doing your regular visits or consultation with the patient. So next is a video of our small city, Kishnau, and our practice. So you can see how, how we practice in the, in the, in the In fiecare zi, suntem încărăzi de oameni atât de diferiți și atât de speciali. În fiecare zi, the video which is actually talks to me. Pe același stres, către locul de muncă, să zâmbim unul altuia și să ne urăm succes. În fiecare zi avem motive să facem lucrurile mai bine. Suntem atât de diferiți și totuși există ceva ce ne recunoște de fiecare dată. Indiferent de unde venim și unde ne îndreptăm, locul care ne adună împreună este orașul nostru. De ani buni, 
sunt în parte a aceleași povești și văzduiește de secole generații întregi de ani. De 584 de ani, Chișinău este orașul și casa tuturor. Este locul unde Dantas și Gândină dăruiește zâmbătă și sănătate. Pe mulți ani, oraș frumos! Pe mulți ani, Chișinău! So I wanted to just give you a glimpse of the clinic, how we work, and of the city where I'm living right now, and the Republic of Moldova. I would like to thank uh, Dean Sir, Dr. Alinjandra, all the faculty members, my dear friend Dr. Somin Vikram Singh, for giving me an opportunity to talk uh, on Georgian Dog Fest. I'm very, very, very honored. I wish you all the best, and if you have any questions, so you can ask me after the, the presentation. Thank you.